Hi guys, Brett Parker here, Handicap Scratch. Today I'm down here at Sandy Way Golf Club and I'm going to be practicing chipping. So, or specifically pitching rather. I have 20 balls and I'm going to be hitting 100 balls pitching um, and I'm going to mix up the yardages slightly. So I'm going to start with this one. This is 80 yards to the flag. Um, I'm going to try and keep my yardages between 50 and 100 yards. Um, that seems to be where my difficulty is a minute. Inside 50 yards, it's not so bad, it becomes a bit more of a chip rather than a pitch. So that's not so bad for me at the minute. 50 to 100 yards, that's where the real problem is. So I'm gonna start with 80, maybe do 70, 60, 90, 100, um, just to mix the yardages up as well. Um, yeah, so let's have a look. Things I'm working on with Dan at the minute is um, trying to get my shoulder behind the ball as I'm coming back um, and then making sure that I don't lean my shoulder towards the target in the back swing. So um, keeping my shoulder back and then pulling my hips through and then, and then bringing the, the uh, club through. Um, it's a weird feeling for me so that's a little bit uh, uh, new and obviously difficult to kind of bed in. The other thing that I noticed as well as Dan's noticed is if I just put this down, hopefully you'll be able to see, is as I come back it's driving the knees. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see that. Uh, so it's driving the knees as I'm coming down and I catch that kind of thin one. I caught a couple there which were a little bit thin um, because I'm driving the knees. Good things though, anyone that's followed me for a while will know divots uh, I did a similar sort of thing last year where there was just divots everywhere big square patch taken out the ground it looked like I've been digging um, whereas now they seem to be bruising rather than digging so obviously I'm not coming down quite as steep um, and just scooping the ball off instead as uh, opposed to digging in so um, yeah it's good Just literally as I say. <laughs> Catch the fattest shot you could ever see. Ah, lovely. That's that drivey one, where it comes out very, very low because I've come so steep on it. Um, with these kind of pit shots, you don't need to, to drive like a full shot. You're just trying to get the trajectory and uh, hopefully some spin.
Okay, so uh, out of the 20 shots, I hit two which were kind of heavy and diggy. Um, the rest I was pretty happy with. Um, I hit that, obviously the one that was diggy, I hit short. Um, and the other one I hit diggy was actually all right. I hit one through the back, which is a slight thin, so um, we'll take a look at that. Uh, but we're going to have a look now at exactly where the shots are finished. By the green now, um, as I mentioned, that one I caught fat is just over there, so it's not perfect. Um, there's a thin one at the back, which is not great. Um, the rest, I've hit the green, except for these two, they're slightly short, but um, the rest have hit the green okay. Um, don't know if you can see from that angle, but this green is almost a fairway rather than a green. It's very, very bobbly, so some of these were bouncing all over the place. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with the shots that I've played. Uh, they've landed okay, they've pitched up and, and ran up, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the shots. So There's a few that I've obviously caught a little bit uh, big and long. I don't remember exactly, but they might have come off this slope. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that. So that's the 80 yard one done. Um, obviously it's not perfect. I've probably got a good maybe eight or so in, in this little area here, which are easy birdie pots. A couple just outsiders. Here's another birdie pot. Um, another birdie pot. So there's probably maybe 12, 13 that are a decent chance for birdie, um, which is all I'm trying to do obviously off five. So I'm just trying to get them to give me chances to make the birdie pots. So we'll move on to about, what do we do, 80? So we'll do 70 next, um, go from there. So on to the 70 yard shot. Um, I've got my bushnell to check the yardages. Four. Good. Right, so uh, let's try this from the 70 yarder. Um, again, it's the same technique. I'm just mindful of where, on the opposite of the clock face, as you've seen Dan do with other people, uh, I'm mindful of where the 70 shot is coming from in terms of uh, the clock face, um, and then remembering that for where I'm on the course. So let's have a look at some 70 yards. So one thing Dan has said to me, in the short term at least, is the most important thing for me right now is trajectory and distance. So the theory is that if I'm hitting at the same distance with the same trajectory, then my contact and my strike is always the same. Then it's dead easy to change things, it's dead easy to set out um, distance controls by the clock face, so he's not done that with me yet because my trajectory and distance isn't consistent. Uh, what I mean by that is, you know, sometimes I'll hit it 60 yards, say if I'm going 70, sometimes I'm hitting it at 60, um, sometimes I'm hitting it at 80, some are low, some are high. It's not consistent and there's no point in building a clock face on that because my clock face halfway could be 50 yards, but if I'm hitting it low, then it's all of a sudden 60, if I hit it high, it's all of a sudden 40. It's not consistent. So in the short term, whilst I'm bending the technique in, it's all about distance and trajectory. So I'm going to stick the uh, camera behind the ball. I've got the Shot Tracer app, so fingers crossed I should be able to pick up most of the balls. Although it's a bit of a glum night tonight, so it definitely won't be working automatically. Um, and then let's try and get a kind of a, an idea for how it looks on the Shot Tracer app, whether or not the trajectories are consistent. They're not going to be exactly the same, but as long as they're roughly the same, then um, obviously that's pretty good. Um, I'm not going to know the results, obviously, until I've edited this video. So fingers crossed, um, they look good. <laughs> Comment down below, did they look as good as I, I'm hoping they are?
So let's take a look on the green. Again, this green's very bobbly. Some shots I thought looked absolutely beautiful um, and just you know, rolled off to the, a different side. Um, a couple of birdie looks. Um, again, a few here, which were slightly too long, but also could have come off this slope here at the hole. I know it's gonna be hard to see on the camera, but uh, it is quite a mound on this green. Um, I had that one long right at the back corner there um, and then a couple that kind of came off the wrong side of this slope. Let me try and see if I can get a decent view of this slope to give you an idea. So it's very difficult to show you obviously on the camera but there is a big mound on the screen so this is just a practice screen so obviously they're not too worried about pin positions or, or the condition of the green. Um, but because of that it makes it difficult to gauge how well your pitch shots are doing but it's practice area at the end of the day isn't it so um, yeah let's have a look at uh, what we're going to do now we're going to do I felt that that was a little bit easier on the 70 so I'm going to do a 90 and 100 I'm a little bit wary on how long this video is getting so I'll do a 90 and 100 um, show you those ones and then that would be the video. <laughs> Let's move on to 90. Do you know the way back to other days when my heart was innocent? I cashed it in for pocket change. Lost my way with nothing gained. I've been singing songs and I've been working hard Trying to catch a shooting star But everything is foreign here Clouded up and full of fear Just take me home So there the uh, 90 and 100 is done, um, out of the 10 I hit with the 90 and 10 I hit from the 100 there was only one shot which I caught, I basically drove at it a bit and get a bit tired, um, wasn't paying attention, lost focus, um, drove at it and ended up, still hit the green I think but um, yeah that, that is what it is but that's not too bad for the most part. Um, collection as hopefully you've seen from some of those wicked bounces um, and as the way that they pulled as some stay here because obviously they've hit the sloping on that way. Um, some are hit a little bit of a short and then one to the right a bit of a long. Um, for the most part, I know this isn't perfect, but it's a million times better than where I was at all this time last year. Um, one thing I do feel like, even the ones that come short, they tend to hop on. Um, and I get away with a bit more now. It's more consistent, but it's not perfect. So there's a long way to go. Um, but where I'm at now, I'm pretty happy with going into the summer. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, the summer and what it brings. And uh, hopefully, my pitching game will help me this year to pick up a few more birdies um, to counteract some of the bogeys I'm catching elsewhere. So, if you've liked this video, give it a like, subscribe. It's completely free to do so. All you need is a Gmail account. Just click the red subscribe button below. Uh, comment down below. Uh, what do you think of my pitching? Did you watch the video from last year uh, where I did my pitching? Um, what do you think of them side by side? Uh, are you, what are you working on this year? Are you going to be working on pitching like me? Uh, for me, it's all about short game this year. Pitching, putting, chipping. That is the absolute focus right now. I hit it a long way already. I hit my irons pretty well and that will always be kept up with Dan. Um, it's all about pitching, chipping and putting this year. So, yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.